Voters decide our election coverage this morning as we inch closer to November. The White House is hitting back at new questions about President Biden's age and memory raised by a special counsel report. On the campaign trail, former President Trump is seizing on that issue. CBS 2's Bradley Blackburn has the latest. President Biden departed for Delaware this weekend, cleared by the special counsel's report of any criminal charges for mishandling classified documents. But the entire White House is now defending the 81-year-old president in a renewed conversation about his age and memory. The way that the president's demeanor in that report was characterized could not be more wrong on the facts and clearly politically motivated. The report from special counsel Robert Hur, a Republican and one-time Trump appointee, referred to Biden's memory multiple times, saying it was significantly limited and appeared hazy. It claimed he had diminished faculties in advancing age and was a well-meaning elderly man with a poor memory. I'm well-meaning and I'm an elderly man and I know what the hell I'm doing. President Biden himself hit back this week in a press conference when he also confused the leaders of Egypt and Mexico. The president of Mexico, CC. The report and response have shaken some on the left, concerned about what it means for the campaign. It didn't go well. Okay, there's no doubt about that. That needs to get better. Then I should not be charged. On the trail Friday, former President Trump reacted to the report. I have a guy I'm competing against who doesn't, he hasn't spoken in months. And when he does, it's not pretty, is it? Trump has also faced questions about his age and mental fitness. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York.